Pete here and I'm back for another Funbridge tournament. Uh, this you can play on the Funbridge uh, website. Uh, there's still the download for a couple of weeks, but soon uh, you'll just have to shift over to the uh, website. Uh, anyway, to get into it, what you want to do is click get started slash practice, come down to exclusive tournaments, and then view all tournaments and just search for Bridgevid, Pete Hollands, something like that. And let's see who takes out the top spot. Shaman plus 32. In equal second spot is Sedgwick and Diff67 plus 29. Nick Crack and Volkerhand Schutz and Lethbridge Dave and Adnib44 and TheRB and Michael DeCesar and Tadpole42 and Gregory S and New Seeker and SFRA and Cannibal Jack. All in equal fourth. That is an amazingly tight race on plus 28 and all the way down to uh, 15. So uh, right up the top there, that's a lot of people on a really tight amount of imps. So congrats to all of you. Um, but there looks like a decent amount of imps uh, on offer here, but not nothing too crazy. So uh, hopefully sort of three or four boards that we can uh, really try and uh, do do some good stuff on anyway uh pass pass to me and flat 13 count so it'll open a diamond i don't really have anything else to say okay uh so uh west made a take out double east jumped to three spades which should be a five card suit uh the question is do i want to lead hearts my partner's suit or diamonds or potentially just like ace of spades spade um so first of all, I think uh, East probably has a shortage in hearts. Hearts are probably like three, four, five, one. Uh, there's no guarantee of that, but relatively likely. Uh, spades could be five, three or five, four. Um, and the diamonds, uh, I suspect diamonds are short here. So to me, it looks like they're probably gonna cross rough. So I'm gonna go ahead and lead ace of spade, spade. Okay. Ace of Spades, they've got a nine card fit there. Uh, looks like they've got the Ace Queen of Hearts. They might get one discard uh, if they've got a Singleton Heart. Um, but I don't think there's great urgency there. Oh, my partner had the King, nice. All right, and they didn't finesse. My uh, king will uh, hear there soon. Um, I don't really want to be on lead, do I? I guess maybe I just want to win and lead a club. Go ahead and do that. Right, they pitch the club. We've got four tricks. I don't really see where we're getting any others. Yep, yeah, I've got the rest. Uh, but I think that one's decent. Maybe an imp. Plus one imp. Yeah. Uh, lots of people held it to three spades. Some people managed to buy it in two hearts, but uh, that seems fine. Moving on to board number two. We've got a flat 15 count, so one no trump. One no, three no. Too easy. Okay, uh, my partner's got a nice nine points. Uh, we've got three diamonds, a club, and a spade, so that's five. We can build some extra tricks maybe in diamonds, clubs, hearts, spades. Oh, everything's got potential. Uh, that heart lead could be from ace-10-9. It could also be for like just 10-9 and ace could have the ace. Clubs could be 3-3. Three, three. Uh, diamonds could be 3-3 three, three, or maybe something short, jack-10 there. Uh, uh, spades, I might be able to build something extra in spades, but mainly if the opponents have to attack them. Uh, hearts, it looks like I've got two hearts. So let's say three diamonds and two hearts is five. Club and a spade is seven. Still need two more. So it looks like working on uh, diamond uh, clubs is probably the best. And I first just want to check if they've led away from ace, ten, nine. I could put in the jack, and if they did, then... If I can keep ducking to west, I'll win some extra tricks. Alternatively, I could duck and hope it, the ace just appears, which 
probably more likely to get me a trick, so we'll go that approach. But I was thinking about um, uh, hopping up with the jack. Uh, I'll just duck this first one. I potentially should have, like, really ducked it. I don't know why I pitched a diamond there. What should I have pitched? Uh, I guess I'm giving up the chance of choosing to finesse diamonds. Uh, so if that's the case, um, I, I wanted to hold on to three spades to the 10, but I'm not sure I should have done it. I don't know who's got the final heart. Uh, do I want to duck this? Uh, if I duck this, West is in. Um, and I think I want to keep West off lead, so we'll, we'll go in with the ace. I have not started off playing this one well. Yeah, um, so I am down here. I think I played that pretty sloppily. Um, I putting in the jack of hearts probably was a better bet. Suspect, yeah. So most people made that. Well, not most people. Enough people made that. I lost ten imps there. So let's have a quick look. Uh, so here they led the seven of clubs, and West went in with the queen. Uh, that, I think, gives you a lot better options there, following up. And then continued hearts themselves. Now the robots stray away. Okay, this is... No tax spades. That was peculiar. Um, someone else made it. They opened up clubs. Let's see some more people playing 3-0. So they they went in with the jack and just started with a low club. All right, so if the jack holds, I'd really want to like get to the south hand to lead clubs just in case west wins to make life difficult for them. Uh, but the low club and then leading clubs again uh, helped build the suit up pretty well. So uh, interesting stuff there, like. I don't think I played that well. I'm not sure what the uh, best way to go is. Uh, minus 10, that sort of dashed our chances of a, uh, you know, top 15 finish because uh, it's so tied up the top. Um, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Bring ourselves back. Maybe uh, plus 10, plus 15. If I get that from here, we'll be pretty, pretty stoked. Anyway, uh, diamond. Two clubs. I just got a minimum balanced hand. Partner's got clubs and hearts, so it looks like three no trumps. Okay, a uh, spade lead. We've got three spades and a diamond is four. And build four club tricks, which is eight. I can build uh, some heart tricks. Definitely want to just get in and start on clubs straight away. Um, so let's go. Have to be a bit careful of entries. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, the ace there. Oh, they pitched a heart. All right, do I want to finesse here? Um, I think I probably want to finesse. I don't see any great urgency in not doing it. Uh, if the finesse lost, they couldn't attack diamonds very well anyway. So let's now uh, knock out the hearts. And we've got the rest from here. So uh, queen of spades and um, then ace of diamonds pitching the heart and we've got the rest. Nice. 
Plus one M. I'll take it. Moving on to board number four. Beautiful 15 count 6-4 shape. Uh, looks like I just want a bit of spade. It's really powerful if I find a spade fit though. Two hearts. Okay, good. Um, I could have kind of even considered maybe trying to look for slam. I think it's a bit too far away, but like king, queen of spades, ace of hearts, doubles and diamond. That might be enough, um, but sort of difficult to navigate that. Uh, here we have two heart losers and some amount of spade losers between one and three. Uh, largely, well, east open to heart and western support hearts, so they're pretty weak. Um, what are the points we're missing? Six, nine, ten, opposite my fifteen. There's only fifteen points missing. We'll see what uh, we find out. Looks like the queen of hearts is there in the west hand. Okay, so East has like Ace, King, Jack of Hearts. Would they open like uh, my option? Like the really normal way of playing this is just like Ace of Spades and a Spade towards the Jack, hoping West has um, like Spades a two two, or that West has uh, like Queen third or King third. Alternatively, if I don't think West could have King third or Queen third, I could start with a low spade towards the Jack. And if there's a singleton 10, I would go low 10 Jack Queen, and then I could finesse on the way back. Um, I think there's just enough room that uh, West could have the Queen third spade. So I'll go Ace of Spade spade. Really glad not to see the 10 there. I think they're probably 2-2. Two, two. Oh, no. Yeah, it was a singleton. There's the queen. And we're all good. So just enough room to have the uh, queen of spades, as I mentioned. Hey, plus five imps. Some people just in two spades. The 6-4 shape is really, really powerful. Some people getting to 5 spades, which uh, I think investigating slam might be okay, but I wouldn't jump to 4 no trumps. Uh, I would maybe bid 4 club splinter or something. Uh, that might be how I'd try and approach it. Anyway, we are back to all square. So let's just pretend it's a 4 board uh, tournament from here on in and see what we can actually do. So we've got a 5-5-13 five, five, count. Two diamonds, go bid three clubs. Found a spade fit. Uh, I don't think that this looks anything remotely like a slam, so we'll just bid spades. Stiff club, awesome news. Uh, diamond suit we might be able to set up. Uh, anyway, I got five club losers and a heart loser, and maybe something in spades. It looks like maybe trying to set up my partner's hand might be better. That diamond suit looks rather promising. Okay, there's the jack. I'm just going to untangle the uh, diamond here. Starters. And let's see if we run into a uh, bad split. No, so they're 3 2. Uh, so the diamonds might be all good. Um, alternatively, Okay, so that last diamond is not good. Might just rough that. And there. And largely, I'm just going to rough uh, one of my hearts as well. Or alternatively, lose three clubs. I think there was a fair few ways to maybe make this. It might be a hand where you could get yourself into trouble. If you can't utilize the diamonds, um, but I think you probably can. I think you might be able to make an extra trick. 
plus two. So some people got to three no trumps. Some people went down in this. Yeah, so you can actually make an extra trick there. Um, I think getting to uh, four spades is good. I didn't really want to play three no. Um, Okay, so they held on to their queen doubleton heart, um, which I think is a better play. Um, I was just like, oh, I can rough my heart, but with the spades breaking, that I, I really didn't need to. Uh, pitching the club seems way better, and then the opponents have to open up hearts for you. And yeah. Well played, well rewarded, but uh, still managed my plus two imps. Moving on to board number six, and here we've got 14 points. Nice, easy one club. Heart, uh, so a bit of spade. Two diamonds, fourth suit forcing. So I'll show that um, minimum balanced and diamond stopper. Right. We have two diamonds on the lead. Three hearts is five. Two clubs is seven. We want to take a spade finesse, we can pretty easily guarantee our contract. Might get three or four spades. Um, but we got the four diamonds lead. Right. Now we'll just start with a club over. Um, I was thinking about King of Hearts Heart. I think both are reasonable. But, um, okay. Uh, I want to keep an eye out for nine eight of spades. Nine. Uh, so my last spade may or may not be a winner. Uh, the fourth heart, uh, my fourth club may or may not be a winner. I just want to duck a club here. Um, check to see if clubs are three three. All right. They are so. Uh, and come over to the King of Hearts. And let's see what the opponents want to discard on this. Diamond, diamond. And we'll go over, and the last heart is not a winner. Uh, but the spades broke. 12 tricks. Beautiful. Everything there was uh, pretty nice. Uh, plus one imp. Don't ask me what happened. All right, well, let's see what uh, Turgeminator did. Six clubs making. Uh, <laughs> uh, so after you bid three diamonds, so uh, then your partner's like, all right, let's play slam. So um, this is a natural bid or a stopper issue in diamonds. So... I think they knew that you had to have a stopper in diamonds, more or less, for their points. Or they just didn't want to play, and then you get... Yeah. But I really like bidding no trumps here rather than that. Uh, but uh, six clubs. So you want to toss your diamond away, hope that clubs break and spades break. Twelve easy tricks. Nice. Not a particularly good six club. Contract, but uh, it came home. Was the diamond finesse working? No, the diamond finesse was offside. So I think you needed a diamond lead as well. We're back up to plus three. Moving on to the second last board. Fabulous six four again. We've got a singleton king of hearts, which is less good, but I found find a fit. I am pretty happy here. I'll just rebid two spades. Three clubs should usually be a better hand. Uh, my partner is sort of a hope of slam. Four spades is really just like, no, go away. Um, I could potentially Q bid here. Do have a six four, so I think like my gut was just to initially just bid four spades, but I really like six four, so I'm gonna give my partner one Q bid. I might live to regret this. I think I'm about to live to regret this. Okay. Wow, I don't think I'm regretting this. That's pretty amazing. Uh, right. Uh, so I've got 
four club losers, three of which are going on the hearts. Um, and then I just want to try and squeeze someone that has uh, five diamonds and maybe I can even do it with four. No, uh, five diamonds and the ace of clubs. So, uh, win here and uh, play us draw trumps. Can always get back there with the ace of diamonds if spades don't split. Ah, uh, no, wait. I gave it my squeeze chance. Did I? Ah, uh, no, when spades didn't split, I didn't have a, a squeeze chance. So the other option is that I sneak a club towards the king. Hope they duck with the ace. I, I thought it was pretty unlikely, but uh, no harm in trying. And uh, 12 tricks. I didn't live to regret that. That was pretty good. Plus five imps. So lots of people just stopped in uh, four spades. Ooh, okay. So they showed a weak hand with that. That's not sort of what I would treat that as. One spade, two spades, four diamonds. Ah, so they just jumped to a cubid there um, and then just signed off. Yeah. Uh, so cooperating paid dividends. All right, we are up to plus eight. One final good board coming in. Let's look what we can do. Can open it. Thought we were a balanced 16 count, but no, we're a triple four one. So I was going to open a no trump, but uh, I'm not balanced. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show my unbalanced hand. Okay. Um, right. So that could be from like 10 9. So that eight might be pretty relevant. Uh, I can finesse diamonds. I want to try and draw trumps, but doing it from my hand is pretty awkward. Okay. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. I want to finesse diamonds when I get in as well. Um, right. Going in with the ace. While I'm there, I may as well finesse a diamond, I think. Uh, the heart suits, like, they're, they're trying to tap me in hearts, which is awkward. Um, but, uh, we'll continue a spade. Yeah, it looks like, if that nine of spades is a, is a genuine card, and it really doesn't need to be, but if that is a genuine card, then spades are 4-2. And if I play another spade, they win the ace, they start playing hearts, I rough, and it, it'll all fall apart. Whereas I've got it pretty easy here if I just uh, never top touch trumps again and just uh, go ahead and play my uh, winners. They'll get two spade tricks. And maybe they might get a diamond. As well. If the diamond split, I'm in good shape. No, but uh, we made with an over trick. So making two. Oh. Plus three imps. Uh, so nice little one there. They're not very clever me to, to play as in no trumps when the contract's in spades. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, one, one spade plus three imps. So finish with 11. So... Relatively happy with that uh, board two. I think it's a really interesting hand. Uh, I'm not sure the best way to play it. I was pretty close on popping up with the jack of hearts, and um, pretty awkward one to sort of handle what to actually do. I do not think I played this one well, um, so probably deserved to go down. Um, but I'm still not 
totally sold on how best to play it so if anyone's got any ideas how you think uh, you should be playing board two definitively love to hear it other than that a pretty solid session finished with uh, plus 11. um and i thought there was a tournament comment thanks pete no worries lost count uh thanks for coming in hope everyone enjoyed uh, this fun bridge tournament look forward to uh, seeing you again soon bye for now